One of the things that really sort of struck me when the announcement came out that you've been signed for the UFC, the outpouring of support from people across uh, the UK MMA uh, industry, whether it's other promoters, whether it's other fighters, whether it's fans, there seemed like there was this universal sort of uh, groundswell of, of, of support and uh, happiness for you. Yeah. What does that mean to you to actually know that you've got that much support from within the UK MMA world? It's massive, isn't it? Absolutely massive. Do you know what I mean? Um, I like being a fan favourite, you know what I mean, fans do spur me on, uh, as corny as it sounds, I do fight for the fans, I want to entertain the fans, I want to be an entertaining fighter and, and put on a great show for them, innit? Um, and yeah, the, the feedback from being signed, that you know, all the stuff I've seen and people coming up to me, it's uh, yeah, very humbling and uh, it just means, means, means a lot to me, I'm really, really grateful for everyone that's behind me. How does it feel to actually go in there and physically knock another man out. <laughs> yeah, we, we've, talk, we've discussed this in car on the way home, there's, there's no feeling like it. Um, it's, it's hard to explain the feeling like, um, obviously having me, uh, my little girl is a, is a unbelievable feeling, but like again, it's just a totally different feeling to knocking someone out. It's, just, it's, it's so hard to explain, there's no, there's no explaining that feeling and, and to like, Again, going back to my own crowd, doing it in front of 20,000 people in my own crowd, uh, sharing a card with that Anderson Silver one and getting put on snipe bonus, it, it, it all, it all top, topped it all off. So you train alongside Scott Asker, who's in, who's in action this weekend. You've been in there and seen him prepare. I mean, you know, how's he looking ahead of this fight? He's looking good. He's looking really well. I, got, I ain't got much to say, but I, I know he's, not, he's, not, he's not going to go out there. He's hungry. He's got some mental with me, so he's, he's out there. He's looking to get a win. That's why we fight. This is why we work, me and Scott. If I get a knockout, he's gonna get a knockout. It's a game that we play, me and him. <laughs> so somebody's gonna win. You know what I mean? So he's gonna get out there, do his, do his job, and get the win. Like the look at Jesse, uh, he's on a good win streak. Um, he's a pretty big guy, relatively well rounded. Um, I prepared well. Got a great team, London Shoot Fighters, great coaches, great teammates. Uh, I'm not too worried about him, I'm thinking about me and my goal is to punch his head in and come Saturday night, I'm going to do <laughs> my best possible to do exactly that. Uh, I'm going to go out there and enjoy it, um, that, that is the, the main thing for me, I, I've had a fantastic camp, I've, I've just been blasting pads in there now and I, I, I feel great, I'm going, to go, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to start to build pressure and I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to make him panic, that's it, that. I'm, I'm just going to build pressure and I'm, I'm going to make him crumble in front of me, that's, that's the plan. When the time comes for you to step in the octagon, what, what can we expect from you when you first step in there for your UFC debut? Are you worried about octagon jitters or all that sort I'm of stuff? I'm worried about nothing. I'm worried about nothing. I'm worried about getting there, doing some crazy stuff. I'm going to go there and see the same reaction, same thing that I've been doing in last, my last few fights. They are going to land them shots, you're going to see them be one shot, so one shot, you're out. So you're one of them. Brilliant. Expect them to come. Yeah, the fans back home. Well, thank you for the support. Make sure you tune in. Yeah, we're repping the UK and putting putting on a show for you guys. Great stuff. Thanks very much.